Hi, my name's Emily and I work here at PJCO as a QuickBooks Pro Advisor and a Cloud Accounting Manager. What I want to cover in this video is how to deal with payment providers such as WorldPay, Stripe, SumUp, might be a few you've heard of. So I've had quite a few questions this week from a lot of my clients asking me how we bookkeep the fees that are associated with such transactions. Usually card providers charge a certain percentage based on the transaction value as an expense to your business. Some pay into the business bank account net of what your invoice value may have been. For example, the fee was taken and then they pay the deposit into your account. Alternatively, some systems pay gross into your bank account and then charge a fee separately, say, as a monthly bill. Firstly, what I wanted to look at is the net element. And what I've discovered is that payment providers such as SumUp and Stripe use this kind of method. So what I've done in the system is raised an invoice for my customer Zulu LTD. The full balance is £500 of this invoice. My customer Zulu has told me that they've paid us via sum up and that I should have received the money into my business bank account. So what I'm going to do is navigate to my bank. So here we can see on the 13th of February, we've received some money into our bank account. However, you may have noticed that we've only actually received £495 when the full invoice value was actually £500, meaning that some up have charged a £5 transaction fee for this deposit. So what we need to do is account for that, because really we need to mark the invoice as paid in full, but also take into account that £5 fee element for our expenses. So to do this, what I suggest is if you click onto the transaction, we're going to click on Find Match. And first of all, we're going to find our invoice. So here's invoice 2800, which is the one I want to apply it to. So here you can see that QuickBooks has applied the full value that we received into the bank of 495, but that still leaves our invoice as five pounds short. So really we want to mark that invoice off as paid in full. So I'm gonna mark that up to 500. However, what that does is creates a difference here of minus five pounds. So we're going to turn on this resolve toggle, which will then bring a separate section underneath. So the date defaults to what the bank transaction was, so you can leave that as it is. The payee will be sum up, because we're paying sum up the fee that they've taken. What I would suggest here is create an expense account for sum up fees. So I'm just going to type in sum up fees and click add. I'm gonna put this account as an expense account and probably put it to something like bank charges, but it doesn't really matter. You can pop it to what you wish. And the VAT code for those is always going to be exempt. Once you're happy with that, you can click save and close. What I would suggest is in the memo, just making a note of which invoice number that related to. So if you pick up that fee separately in QuickBooks somewhere, you'll be able to know that it relates to that invoice payment. Now the amount, you need to make sure that you put a minus and then put in the value. And as I said, the VAT should be exempt. This case, it's purchases. You can now see that the difference reads zero. So once you're happy with that, you can click save. That will take the transaction out of your bank and into the in QuickBooks tab. And if we just check our invoice here, hopefully that would have marked that as paid in full. We'll also see if we go to our sum up fee account, a five pound fee. 